$150 million school bond package is causing quite a bit of controversy. Eanes ISD is asking for money that would go toward new schools and new technology. But some voters have gone sour, saying they don't like what the district did with the funds from the previous bond package. KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more. Stephanie? Z. I am certainly looking forward to seeing a neighborhood school for our area. With three children in the Eames Independent School District, Jennifer Salas is all for the 2010 bond proposal. The $149 million bond package is broken down into three propositions on the November ballot. The money would go toward everything from a new technology and new schools to a new fitness facility and swim center. But others aren't so thrilled. We think the, as well that the current bond offer is, uh, is too large. Um, it's too risky in terms of, uh, of the additional costs it will add to our district at this time. Not only does the debate include the bond package up for vote in November, but one group is raising concerns about the district's last bond package in 2006. That was $53 million. We're talking about $100 fifty million dollars now so it's a uh, we think it's really important that uh, when voters approve bonds that they get what they were told the money was going to be spent on. Al Cohen with Citizens for Academic Excellence in Eanes says $4.5 million of the 2006 bond set aside for safety and security and technology were not spent on those projects. But Eanes Independent School District says the money was not misspent, just reclassified. It was still used for the original project it was intended for. The reclassification was mainly for accounting purposes and to better track those specific projects for the vendors that we would use for those projects. It's a move that doesn't require the Board of Trustees approval. I think this is a great time for us to float a bond proposal. Our district has the highest bond rating possible to achieve because of the great stewardship of the district in money management. The vote on this bond project will take place on November 2nd. In Westlake, Natalie Stoll, KXAN Austin News.